So there are a few ways to find capable resources in Planet Together. Um, we can use the Gantt and we can use a list view. So to see this on a Gantt, if I simply click on an operation, I'll notice that on the left hand side in the resources, I'll see a green arrow. The green arrow indicates that this operation is capable to run on that resource. So if I click on this spray former operation, you'll notice how the green arrow jumps down the spray former. So I'll go back into my die casters. And now I'm able to simply drag this operation to a different die caster. So I'll drag it down to die caster 3. If I were to drag this operation onto an ineligible resource, I would get a warning. It says I can't move it there. Now that's how you can move things on a Gantt view. If you're more comfortable with a list view, you can find your operations on our activities grid. I'll make it a little bigger. Similar setup as the Gantt where your resources are on our list on the left and the operations scheduled on those resources up here on the right. So if I want to move, um, let's say I want to move operation 3 on this diecaster resource, I can add it to my move manager. And my move manager is pretty cool because it tells me which plants, departments, or resources it's capable on. So I'll move it to a specific time. I want to move it, let's see, it's scheduled currently um, in January 4th, 5th, and 6th area. So I will move it to, let's see if I move it out to January 8th. And let's see, plant, the only one I can choose is aerospace, it's green. Uh, the department, um, this particular operation has a labor resource, but I'm, I know I'm moving on the die casting uh, resource, so I'll pick casting. And then which resource do I want? Well, it's showing me that I have capability to run this on die caster 1, 2, or 3. So we'll try to move it to 1. And I'll say move all blocks. And you'll see if I click on die caster 1, the order highlighted in green is the one that moved. Now you can access this move manager from many different areas so if you're comfortable on the Gantt but you want to move in a list view you can also just right click on an operation and move activities give you a little different um, setup of, as to how you can move this, this is kind of our, our um, legacy mover so it's just one more way where I can select my capable resources the incapable resources are in red And I just select, and the activity I've selected on the Gantt is highlighted in yellow. And we'll say we want to move it right after job two. And we'll say move. And that's it. That's how you know your capable resources. Thanks.